is fighting. Controversial. People love it, people hate it, people want it, people don't want it. I grew up in the streets of Brooklyn, New York, and I'm not gonna say that I've never been in a fight because I have been in plenty of fights in my life. Now, ranging from the classic parental fight to the fight with your friends to the I'ma beat that bitch's ass and she keep on talking fight. <laughs> There's a lot of different fights you can get into, and I'm here today to show you the right and the wrong way to go about it. <laughs> from experience. <laughs> oh. Ma, what's up? Ma looks so sexy. <laughs> Ayo sis, send me home. Make sure to get your tickets for RuPaul's Drag Con, New York City. I'm coming, bitch. Why are you looking at me from over there? No, no, no. What? You gonna do what, bitch? Me right after this. I'm gonna get you. Oh. <laughs> nah, y'all didn't see that. Nah, I'm just kidding. I was about to fight this bitch over there because she was uh, doing the most. <laughs> but we pick our battles around here. We only fight those who are worth it. Anyways. So first of all, I want to talk about the verbal argument. That is the verbal argument. People have opinions and sometimes you want to clap back. I know personally, I, Aja, am known for clapping back on social media. <laughs> and some people are like, wow, that's not cute, you're better than that. And some people are like, girl, oh, you're so funny. Personally, I just think it's fun. And here's the thing, you can clap back at somebody intelligently wherever you are. Online, at the grocery store, or at the club. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, when you're going to give an intelligent verbal fight, you need to pull out the facts, which means you need to be like, hmm. How can I hit you beneath the belt? How can I hit you where it hurts, but not say anything derogatory, offensive, or crazy? Now that means y'all stay away from the racials, the, the genders, all that. Y'all stay away from that. If somebody is trying to come at you and they're like, Bitch, you're ugly, your makeup is terrible, you stink. You sit back and you collect yourself like this. And you'd be like, okay. But what about that time that you hit me up asking me for advice because your man left you because you complained too much? Ah! Bitch, first of all, she don't look at you and be like, ah. how do you just aired my dirty laundry like that? And I'm gonna be like, girl, well, you should have dropped off your laundry at a different laundry mat. Not at mine. See, but that's just the verbal arguments. Now, let's get physical. First of all, I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. I do not condone physical violence. Physical violence is very bad and does not mean that uh, I have ever partaken in ver I'm lying. Let me tell y'all something. When I was younger, I had gotten into a fight. I know, very surprising. And there was this guy and we were walking under the BQE in New York City. And he had a skateboard and I was walking with this guy. I was on a date actually. He looks at me and he's just like, oh wow, your eyes are so pretty. And I'm like, wow. This guy across the street with his skateboard is walking by. He was like, yo. And I was like, <laughs> pause. Now, what I should have said was, thank you, sir for understanding and acknowledging my queerness in this society. But what had happened was I had walked up to him and I said, oh, you wanna call me the F word? See now, if I was another person, I would pick up your skateboard and I would slap you with it. 
and I am another person, so I am gonna pick up your skateboard and slap you with it. Bitch, I picked up the skateboard that he had on the floor and I slapped the shit out of him with it. This day and age, in 2018, 19, 20, whatever the, the year is, if you are insulting someone's identity, you are in the wrong. He was like, he was like, man, why did you do that? And I was like, have a nice day. At least I told him have a nice day. Now let me tell y'all why exactly I did that. See, like I said, I don't condone violence. But when people go around attacking minorities and you let them attack you and you don't stick up for your rights, they think it's okay. Now Martin Luther King said resist, which is what I should have done. But my, it was a hot day with 98 degrees and it was the summer and I was sweating. And when I'm sweating, I'm mad. And when I'm mad, I'm hungry. And when I'm hungry, I need coffee. And when I need coffee, it means I'm asleep. And when I'm asleep, I'm not thinking. So I hit him. And I'm not saying that I'm proud of it, but I'm just saying that I don't think he went around calling anybody the F word again. And if he did, I hope they slapped the out of him too. Just so you know, the right way of fighting and dealing with things is not to fight at all. Don't fight, it's not worth it. Choose your battles. Fighting is just not the answer. If you can walk away from a situation, walk away. And if you're in danger, call the police or beat that ass. Whichever one comes first. Hell no, I don't need to listen Why are you over there talking sh just Fight me right now, hold up, hold up. Now, but if I get my brother, my sister, my uncle, my father, my sister, my brother, my uncle, my dog on you. Now, oh no, she wouldn't. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, calm down, calm down. Come get this bitch, cause she's talking mad sh right now. I'm done, I'm done. Oh, she left. Oh, okay. I guess the moral of today is uh, choose your battles wisely because sometimes it's just not worth it. I'm gonna get that bitch. Hey yo, sis.